Hi everyone. Um, I am filming in a whole new setup. I still have a nice backdrop, um, but I moved across country. So this is my first video that I'm filming in my new area. I moved from a kitchen, which is what I was filming in before, down to a basement. So I have quite a bit more space, especially storage space for all my supplies. Today, I'm just going to be using a um, utensil container. And then I just have my canvas. It's a 14 by 18 inch canvas and then some um, Payne's Gray, which is a really dark blue. It's like a grayish blue. And then I mixed up a variety of shades of some lighter colors of blue and a gray along with um, that Payne's Gray. When I use the utensil container, I go for a geode style look. Um, I get some really nice lines and striations in my paint. So I'm just going to um, work with that today. Like I said, I still have a lot of my stuff packed up and I have to go through and try and find quite a bit of um, materials. So I'm just using white for my base coat and I have each of my colors mixed with Sargent Art Gloss Medium and water. And I really like the Sargent Art Gloss Medium for when I don't want cells. Um, if I do want cells, I use Floetrol and that works for me. So I'm just gonna start with some of this dark blue. I have a slightly lighter shade. And then I have some gray. And then a very, very light blue. And then some more of my white. And then I'm just going to do a little bit more. I really like this Payne's Gray. It's a really pretty color. I haven't used it a lot, so I may kind of incorporate it more. Okay. So I'm just going to take one of my stir knives that I use and just gently swipe it through there. And then I'm just going to pour and I need to decide how I want to pour on here. We're gonna start from this corner. That is a really pretty color palette. I did one similar to this just a couple of weeks ago, but they always turn out differently. So I'm actually just gonna tilt with this and see if I added enough paint. We'll add a little bit more white around there. If I need more color, I can, but that might be enough to tilt out. So I'm going to stop tilting. I really like the way that this turned out. This whole sh shape right here looks like a beautiful stone shape. And then I have some of my white negative space. I'm going to just clean off that spot right there. And then you just have this whole other um, area of striations. This is um, the last one that I did of these. It was very, very busy. This one I liked a lot more. So I may try some other colors um, in this and see what I can come up with. The blue and the gray look really pretty together. It's a very easy color palette to use. So I do have a lot of this Payne's Gray left over, so I'll do another video with it, but I'll do a different style. So we'll figure out something else fun to do with these leftover colors. Uh, but I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Um, if you like this style, let me know what other colors you'd like to see. Um, I've done greens. I may try purple. Um, I don't think I've done one with the utensils, the utensil container in purple in a very long time. So I may do that, but this one turned out very nicely. So I hope you guys liked it. Uh, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching today.